is going on, everybody? My name's Jacob Forster. Welcome to Incident at Grove Lake. It's been a minute since I've played a little indie horror game from itch to io. This one is an alien invasion, and it's like a PSX, PS1 style horror game, which is uh, two things that I greatly enjoy. There's a flashing light warning at the very beginning of the, this game, so just keep a heads up for that. But let's go ahead and hit play. Check out what this game is all about. I'm ready to be spooked and scared. Repent of your sins and turn to God, for the kingdom of heaven is near. Okay, throwing some Bible verses at us. Restricted area. No trespassing beyond this point. Warning. Oh, so this is uh, Area 51. I love the uh, little low-poly rendition of this so far. Pretty good. I think the synopsis on the page is saying that we, like, have video cam, video surveillance footage of Area 51. And basically we're playing as that footage. September 6, 1997, 4.25 p.m., camera number three, front gate. It's a mysterious car driving through. Wonder what that's gonna lead to. Ooh. I like they're setting up the uh, story, the atmosphere so far. So far, so good. Bing. Hello. Initializing scan. Boom. Connecting to server, okay. This is like our IP address or something. Host client reached. Triangulating target position. Oh, maybe we're hacking in. Connecting to live footage. Connecting to live audio. This feels like I'm about to play an observation duty game. Connected. But it's not. It's not. I don't want you to be fooled. The dial-up sound. Wonderful. Interesting. This one had a phone book. Phone booth. Accessing auto. Audio. Click to begin. Target. Appreciate you talking, uh, taking my call. Let's get this straight. You got out unnoticed? Medical discharge. They think I have kidney stones. <laughs> Not so smart as they think at S4, huh? Smarter than you know. So can we meet? Sure, let's make a public place. Remember, I don't have a lot of time. Neither do I. Let's say the diner on Redacted. Works for me, I'll bring what I found. Good, I'll see you soon. Remember what I have wrist for this. I remember. <laughs> Line disconnected. Okay. This is a lot of setup. <laughs> this is a lot of setup for this little indie game. Excited. Somewhere north of Nevada. Tiny text. It's tiny. <laughs> September 9th, 1997. Okay. I'm waiting. Oh. Oh, look at us go. Okay, this looks great. This looks great. Where's my phone booth? I need to call the dude! No, we just... We just drove to the city to go to our meeting place at the diner, I guess. I really like the look of this so far. I mean, it's it's a standard, like, pixelated horror game, but... Something about it, it just looks very... Looks very clean, at the same time being kind of retro-styled. The rain is a nice touch. I always love, like, soothing rain sounds. It's so rare that it rains here in uh, Southern California. So it's, like, always such a treat when it does. <gasps> the local dino. I'll get some uh, moons over my hammy. <laughs> Little Denny's. <laughs> Denny's order. Uh, what up, dude? Oh, who am I meeting? You gotta be in the back booth, right? Oh, yeah, this is definitely you. Definitely you. Talk to... Oh. <laughs> yeah, let's talk to this stranger. <laughs> Just sitting on his head. Thank you for coming. Is that us saying that? Or the mysterious man? I didn't know who else to tell. I've risked so much getting here. They're following me. I did, don't have much time. P please take these. Some files and just one of many tapes they have. Get this stuff to the public. They need to know but before it's too late. If I don't hear from you by the 11th, I'm going public with this. There's a radio station I know of, you know? Please go and be careful. They'll follow you too. Huh, so that's him talking about- wait, so are we the strange, mysterious person that was on the other side of the phone? So that's what it feels like. Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> They're always watching. <laughs> watching and waiting. 
Our every movement. September 10th, 1997. Okay. Interesting. Back in our little apartment. Hello? Oh, it's so quiet. Pick up the tape. So we're just going to watch the tape, or uh, I kind of want to explore our little apartment here, but... T-something, question mark, United States. Look at documents. Yeah, I want to look at these first. Wow, so detailed. <laughs> so perfect. Oh, look at that UFO! <gasps> the gray man! Another gray man! An unidentified individual. Okay, let's play the VHS tape. And I guess we'll watch the tape. See what's see what this guy was so nervous to give us. So now do we play as the what was on the tape, maybe? It's all over the place. The following tape is property of the United States government. Incident number 17, example of encounter. Type F. Okay. Copying or distribution of this tape is strictly prohibited. Classification of this content is reserved to members with TS slash SCI clearance. The following took place August 19th through the 21st, 1997. Grove Lake redacted. The tape was discovered and handed to local authorities September 1st, 1997. Please contact your facility supervisor on conclusion of this tape as outlined in section 4B, paragraph 8 for psychoanalysis something. I gotta read it faster, apparently. Oh, this is great. This is great. Oh, yeah. Do I have hands? I thought I just saw a hand pop out. Oh, this is good. This is good. Okay. I'm very excited for this. I have no idea <laughs> what we're going to run into, what we're going to see on this tape. But I sure am excited. Excited for an alien encounter. Gosh, alien movies always scared me so much. Oh, it's a giant flyer. Always scared me so much as a kid growing up. I remember I watched the... Uh... Gosh, what... Uh... M. Night Shyamalan's uh, scary uh, alien movie. The Why can't I remember? With uh, Joaquin Phoenix and all those other people. Great movie, but the, the scene where <laughs> Joaquin Phoenix was... He's just like sitting at the TV when they first see the alien. <laughs> he's just like, Vamanos children, Vamanos! Because the, the video was in like Mexico. It, it cracks me up. But that, that particular scene always scared me so bad seeing the alien. And then there was, uh, there was a weird one. I think it was called The Fourth Kind. It had to do with like owls and it had, I think, Mia Jovovich in it. That one freaked me out. Anything that's like paranormal, like alien kind of stuff is very unsettling to me. And now that I'm like thinking about all this stuff, I'm, getting, I'm giving myself chills. Oh, okay. So tape is progressing. So it's 11.02 p.m. August 19th. Gotta remember that. Are those lights in the sky? <gasps> yeah, look at that! <laughs> it's a little UFO! <laughs> little cylinder was moving in the sky. This is great. August 20th. So this is... A day ahead? So it's splicing in some footage from earlier. <laughs> Lake. La Lago. El Lago. La Lago? Al -a -la -la. What was it in Resident Evil? I can't remember. It was L or La? Lagos. Lago. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, game. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> this isn't gonna be a good time for me. <laughs> if a bunch of little crows scare me. Okay, I'm ready, though. I'm ready and waiting. Okay. I saw flickering in the, like, kind of middle upper section of the screen. I wasn't sure if there was stuff floating around in the sky or not. Is this my can? <laughs> Seeing this campground makes me think I can put an extra rock here for a Korok seed. <laughs> okay, well, let's keep moving. I feel like my character slightly walks sideways just because of the way the filter is like warping and distorting the world. It's making me a little, uh, a little wobbly. I'm just, I'm just going to keep moving forward into the woods. I've got no other objective, no other reason to do anything else. Am I hearing bugs? Or something else? 
Hello? What's happening? Please turn Supplied Handbook to page 42. We will now review the four types of encounters. The first kind, CE1, visual sightings of an unidentified flying object seemingly less than 500 feet away that show an appreciable angular extension in considerable detail. Okay. It's not letting me click on it. There it goes. The second kind, CE2, a UFO event with physical effect such as interference, animal reactions, or physical trace like impressions in the ground, scorched or otherwise affected vegetation, or chemical trace, or something like a crop circle maybe? Okay. The third kind, CE3, UFO encounters in which an animated entity is present. These include humanoids, robots, and humans who seem to be occupants or pilots of a UFO. Look at, look at this, look at this distinguished gentleman. I like his cranium. It's very bulbous. <laughs> the fourth kind. Yeah, the movie's called The Fourth Kind. CE4. Close encounter of the fourth kind is a UFO event in which a human is abducted by a UFO or its occupants. Cool. The following is an example of CE2. Please identify in your workbook any further encounter types for evaluation. It, what an interesting kind of style choice that they're, they're telling us, the players, what we're going to see ahead of time. But I guess this isn't a playable section at this point. So this is August 20th at 7.50 p.m. Oh, yeah. Look at him go. Look at the little guy go. Oh, there's two of them. Three of them. They're forming. They're doing a little dance in the, in the night sky for us. Thank you, guys. What a beautiful display. Well, see you later. Ghost orbs. <laughs> Easy. Okay. Oh boy, August 20th. So now we're at 9.16 p.m. So this is after we saw the UFOs in the sky. So can't go that way anymore. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. <laughs> I don't, I wanna go home. Why am I camping? I always find it so, so interesting how... <laughs> oh, that's cool. That's cool. I was gonna say, I always find it how interesting how like something as simple as like this kind of art style can s still create such a reaction. Because it, it's so like low poly and like from a first glance, it's not super believable. But when you're in it, it's it's great. As long as your storytelling is great, too. It does a great job. The sound design on this is fantastic, by the way. I got to get to the lights, apparently. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Oh, a whole barn. Womp. Oh, okay, that is a lot of flashing lights. Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> What's wrong, dude? What's going on? Oh. He has been tooketh. <laughs> See you later, I guess. Oh, oh. You have to go with the camera, too. They take my shirt off? <laughs> oh. Oh, this is a weird ship. I don't like this ship very much. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Well, these aren't the kind of aliens I was expecting to meet. I thought they just wanted to tickle my toes and leave me alone. <laughs> this isn't what I was expecting. This isn't what I signed up for. I just wanted to believe. I didn't want to bleed. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. Let's keep. Let's just keep going. Not gonna worry about these poor souls. Apparently, they did something wrong. Well, I, I got. It, I got. It. I'm curious. Got a little extra color on you. No. Okay, we're fine. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Stop. 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 Oh, oh, we're being dragged through. The the loud wong reminds me of uh, War of the Worlds. The noise that their ships make. Oh my gosh. <laughs> My dude's going through it right now. <laughs> what do they want to know? <laughs> what is happening? Obviously, we're being probed. <laughs> oh, our camera's broken. Battery low. So that's the 21st at 5 a.m., 5.30 a.m., basically. So I wonder if the guy survived or if this other guy found the tape. The tape is now concluded. Interesting. No further footage was recoverable. Tape will be added to archive section four. Please now contact your facility supervisor for psychoanalysis and debrief. You'll be signed up and completing form 52 up upon completion. Your discretion is a matter of national security. Please remember your oath and those who came before you. So official. Okay, well, thing I'm sharing this to all of you too. <laughs> Please eject tape now. What if I don't wanna? What if I'm not gonna? Okay. Are we on our own roof? Yeah, I was gonna. I was wondering if they were gonna cut back to the guy that we were playing in the apartment watching the tape. Like, how are they gonna conclude this story? So many more questions than answers at this point. It seems the uh, the secret agents, whoever they are, have found our apartment. Nobody's home. I'm sleeping, leave me alone. I'm gonna hide, look at documents. Oh, I thought you could hide under the desk. I'm gonna hide back here, man. Please don't come for me. Oh, fine, I'll open the door. Uh, who could it be? Maybe it's the pizza delivery man. <laughs> FBI, open up. <laughs> are they just gonna shoot me? They are. Wow. <laughs> Guess they couldn't let their secrets get out into the world. What a somber ending for no name here. On September 11th, 1997, talk show host Art Bell receives a frantic call from a man claiming to have worked in Area 51. Online, you're on the air. Hello. Hello, Art. Yes. Hi. Um, I, I, I don't have a whole lot of uh, time. Um, I've heard this before. This is a real, this is a real recording, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm worried if this might be copyright, so we'll, we'll see. I was let go on a medical discharge about a week ago, and and I've kind of been running across the country. Um, oh man, I don't know where to start. They're uh, they're, they're gonna. I say this is a a real call. This is a real call that happened on a radio station. I, I believe it was found out to be a hoax or a joke from this guy or not. I can't remember exactly. They're extra dimensional beings that an earlier precursor of the space program made contact with. They they are not what they claim to be. This game makes a lot more sense though. If it's inspired by this recording. Of, of the military establishment, particularly the Area 51, 
Uh, the, the disasters that are coming, they... Uh, the, the military... Uh, I'm sorry, the, the government so knows frantic. about them. And th there's a lot of safe areas in this world that they could begin moving the population to now are... But they're not doing they're not doing anything. They're, they're, they're not, not doing anything. They're they're not doing anything. Population <laughs> centers wiped out so that the, the few that are I want to talk, but if, if I keep this in, I want you all to be able to hear it. Discharge. <laughs> it's high. I started getting Cutting out. It cuts. Connection lost. Oh, okay. Very interesting. Yeah, I think the, the the real recording is real. Is uh much longer in terms of everything else. Created by Dan McGrath. Thanks for playing. No, that was great. That was, that was a wonderful little kind of story-based horror game. It, like it wasn't too much of a like like a like a super horror in terms of like being like absolutely terrified going through it, but it really set up a great environment to tell its story and to kind of walk you through all these little pieces. This feels like something that uh, had a lot of planning put into it to kind of create what it wanted to create. I could definitely see this becoming a, or e being re-released as a longer narrative kind of form format and structure but with being just this tiny little indie game made by one guy it looks like uh did a great job with with kind of crafting this this uh this little game so glad i got glad i got a chance to check this out glad i got a chance to play it hopefully the tape part i'm able to keep in Otherwise, I just cut it out and you probably didn't hear anything. But um, yeah, it makes a lot more sense with the tape in mind because the tape is from a, uh, a panicked individual who has all this information about Area 51. And basically, this game is a depiction of what this person may have seen on the tapes. Very, very interesting to see the, the alien portion just being like this crazy death machine. I'm really curious what they were doing in the like the research table with the guy too. And then there was a different alien behind the doors, like a much larger entity. And then the other like big headed ones. It's real cool. Really cool. But anyway, I'd love to hear what you all think. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. Love to hear any thoughts and feelings from you all. If you're not already subscribed, consider doing so. Hit that bell notification that we know exactly when I'm uploading any new videos. If you'd like to see any more content from me, you're welcome to follow me on any other of my socials, like my Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, we got a Discord channel, and a bunch of other cool things always listed in the description down below. But of course, that all being said, you all are awesome. You all are amazing. And I cannot wait to see you all in the next video. Later.